Hey everyone, Spider here. I'm going to be doing Spider Tries again for the first time in about a month and a half, thereabouts. And I know originally I've been doing things like kind of domestic, like spam. I mean, tried what, four different types of spam plus treat. Uh, I'm not planning on doing that again anytime soon. Uh, okay, so let's see. I've also done Menudo, which wasn't that bad. And, of course, it was canned menudo. I have yet to actually make menudo for myself. And I plan on doing that. And when I do, you'll be the second to know about it. This time around, though, I'm doing something completely different. I've actually gone to the Chinatown Market here in Kansas City, which is in the city market area, the West Bottoms, for those of you who are familiar with the area, to pick up something I've never actually eaten before. It's not as outrageous as things I hope to try in the future. And I'm not, again, trying to go for a shock value or anything like that. I just like trying things I've never eaten before, and I guess I'm kind of adventurous in that way. But I got three different types of uh, preserved, well, canned preserved seafood. I've gotten, let's see, I got roasted eel. Their packaging, by the way, is just awesome back then. I mean, this is, I suppose from Taiwan. I also got roasted eel with fermented black beans, uh, again from Taiwan. I still really like their packaging. It's going to be a pain in the butt to actually open this can though, I'm betting. Anyway, I also got something, let's see where this one comes from. I think this one's from Thailand. This is salted mackerel fillets in oil with ginger doesn't sound appetizing at all, <laughs> but there it is. But I guess, well, I shouldn't say it doesn't sound appetizing, it's just they're telling you exactly what you're getting, which is actually better than what we do around here. We don't come up with, like, fancy names for stuff like this. They just tell you flat out. Also, something interesting about this packaging I just now noticed, uh, they tell you not only when it expires, but the date in which it was canned. This was canned February 4, 2009, and expires 2012. So that's actually very cool. I guess they, uh... I don't know if you could read that. That looks alright. But I, I don't know exactly who was in charge of their canning and stuff, and food, and drug administration, whatever, I don't know. Uh, who they go through and... Taiwan, but that's, or Thailand, I'm sorry. But that's really cool. Oh, cool, this one just has like a little full can, like spam. That's kind of cool. That'll be easy to open. And let's see, this is, yeah, product of Thailand, wild caught. That's cool. I'll read the ingredients off as if you didn't guess already for the uh, mackerel fillets, which I'm going to actually try first just because it's the easiest to get into, apparently. The ingredients are mackerel, soybean oil, salt, and ginger. Interesting. This product contains fish and soy, as if you didn't already guess that by the salted mackerel and oil with ginger and the ingredients being mackerel, soybean oil, ginger, and salt. <laughs> anyway, we got, of course, as always, my palate cleanser, water. I also made some rice because... I, there are no real serving suggestions. They just have these on like a bed of lettuce. They have some cherries in this one and some limes, I guess, but they don't really tell. I mean, it's not like sardines here, I guess, where you do it with bread or crackers or something. It's just this. So I'm going to get all my things together and open this can up. Wow, it looks big. And nothing like the picture, I might add. Okay. Well, I mean, the picture has all those nice slits on it. Let's see if I can hold it up. I mean, it looks like a big sardine, doesn't it? I actually happen to like sardines from time to time, so I don't think this will be too difficult for me to muster. Let's see. I'm actually going to save that box. That box is awesome. It even has a website on it, uh, 
myasianstore.com, which I will definitely bookmark. Alright. Here goes. With this one. Uh, just to remind you of my rules, uh, I do have a rule where, of course, I have to have a palate cleanser between samplings. I have to try everything at least twice, and I can't spit anything out. Yeah, I strict, I guess. All right. Well, here it is. Looks like I say it looks just like kind of tough sardines. It's actually good. I actually like it. I can taste the ginger, but it's not overpowering. It's not really all that salty either. Um, it, it doesn't taste re like overpoweringly fishy. It doesn't even really have a much of a fishy odor to it either. You know, I'd buy this again. It's actually it might be a good snack here in the future. Um, and I'll have my other sampling of this, and I'll chase it with rice. No, this is really actually kind of good. I mean, it's pleasant, actually. It, like I say, it doesn't stink like old canned fish or anything. and It is flavorful. It doesn't look very good. But it is canned fish. Look at all that dangling off the bottom of it. Oh, that's actually ginger. So they're holding out on me. There, <laughs> that's actually ginger. I happen to like ginger. We have a little bit more of that. Yeah, that's that's good. That's good. I happen to love Thai food anyway. That's yet another reason to really enjoy it. By the way, I'm not cheating with this rice. The rice I'm eating actually has no soy or anything in it. It's just rice. So it's very neutral, and yeah, it is a good palate cleanser. Uh, no. I think I'll go with the regular roasted eel first. Let me get this open. It might take a while. It has those round edges, but then straight away, and it's really, it's really awkward to handle. It's not that bad so far. I just know that oblong cans aren't always the easiest things in the world to get open with a can opener. Okay. Let me open that up. That deal. That's definitely eel. Okay. We can see the bones in there and everything. I can't even tell you what it smells like, actually. It does, again, it doesn't have like a, an overpoweringly fishy odor at all. 